Hi guys, welcome back. Here for another Chantal commentary. Um, I actually tried filming this video earlier, but there was this horrible noise. I'll, I'll insert a little clip so you can hear it. And it's our star on our tree. Not have a platform if that's what she's going to do. If she wants to come on live streams and be sober and be an asshole, fine. I was like editing the video back and I was like, okay, this is getting on my nerves. I think I need to redo it. <clears throat> so let's talk about Chantal and her shenanigans. Like, there's a lot to talk about. Number one, the lack of attendance at the holiday gatherings was sad and unfortunate, but that's life. Um, I think the thing for me is that she's so checked out that it wasn't even a, it didn't seem like it was even a big deal to her. Like, girl, you realize that it's Christmas and you're sitting alone in your kitchen in a busted up chair, unshowered, in a dirty apartment, on a live stream, completely alone. Okay, a lot of people think she's, it's all scripted and she's doing this for money and I, I, I get it and I'm not completely ruling that out. Don't come for me because I haven't completely ruled that theory out either. However, <clears throat> I think that she's just have such a distorted reality because all she does is sit around basically from the time she wakes up till the time she passes out, all she does is basically live stream. And if she's not live streaming, she's sleeping. And this is her new reality. Imagine trying to live in that world. I don't want to, but go ahead, just for the, just for funsies, let's all step into her world for a second and see what that looks like. Okay, we're out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's just a second and you're like, oh, okay, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, no. Real world, the real world isn't on the internet, Chantal. If your friends are on the internet, I'm sorry, but you don't have any friends. Real friends require real connections, the internet. You don't have any friends because you don't see them. Don't tell me you have friends. You don't. Like you thought you knew Karate Joe? You knew Karate Joe? Where's Karate Joe? Where'd he go? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. They're not real friends. So if that's all you do, it's weird. This life makes sense to her. And yeah, I think to an extent she can like play up things and, and say things and play it up for the audience. And she's too impulsive to actually stick to a script. Like that doesn't work for her. You guys have to understand she's super impulsive. Planning and and pulling these things off take time. She can't do that. Like she's the most impatient person ever. And also, I hate to remind you guys, but remember when her and Bibi broke up and she moved out, but she left stuff at his place and she would always be saying like, oh, I gotta go back and get his stuff. I gotta go back and get his stuff. And did she ever go back and get his stuff? No, but I do think it was her little ace in the hole with Bibi like, oh, my stuff's still there. So I'll have to go get it and while in there, maybe we can make up. It's not far-fetched. I mean, who hasn't done that at least once? I think she's just really emotionally stunted, which is why she acts this way. And it's so cringy to watch. It's terrible. But also, she's really loaded on drugs. <laughs> like, what are you taking? Like, sometimes I'm like, is she on ketamine? Dude. And then other times I'm like, what What in the Sam Hill are you on right now? Like, tweaker? Did you see her the other night where she was like straight up hallucinating? I don't know what kind of entertainment purposes she's getting from this by doing this, calling him, and then he's on a live stream on and has her on speakerphone, which is <laughs> real mature. And he's got these like little digs that he's doing with her with the, the thumbnails, classy. Like these two are just super mature. 
Now, he might be playing it up to get money. Now, I'm not going to put that past him. Like, that's why he's doing that on live stream. Like, oh, she's calling. Yo, let's let's go on live. Like, she keeps calling, man. Let's go live. Let's let the world see this. Okay, I would buy that for a second. But do I think she's like, oh, well, yo, let's let's do this thing. No, I I just, I, she's not that sophisticated. <laughs> I'm sorry. You guys give her way too much credit. You really do. You give her too much credit. And we need to just be like, yo, he's manipulating because this dude, this isn't his first rodeo, man. Like he's, he's dealt with sketchy people in his time. So he knows what to do and how to get under their skin. And he's pretty good at it. Obviously he knows how to get under her skin. I mean, it's funny, but it's also immature. Like his little, like the first thumbnail with her kissing the feet. I was like, that's That's stupid. I, I chuckled, but then I was like, that's stupid. That's really stupid. You you just look like an idiot. Not impressed. Like, that doesn't make me like you. It doesn't make me feel bad for you. I don't, I'm sorry, you're a grown ass man and you've made your choices and you need to deal with those choices. Choices have consequences. And then the next one where he's like holding up the bottle of alcohol and I'm like, you are stupid. <laughs> like how old are you so there's a new girl there that she's obsessing about Dee Dee this Dee Dee that is that her name Dee Dee by the way or am I just making that up I thought her name is it Diane or Dee Dee I don't do I care no is she probably gonna have her own channel soon probably because she's probably like I don't know she's probably like she's probably over there the same reason Chantel's over there because he's got the drugs but if I was Dee Dee, wouldn't I make a channel? Yeah, probably. <laughs> so she's just like on this, like she's just stuck. Like she's like a record that, or like a CD that's skipping. You know, you guys, I'm throwing it back a little. You ever had a CD just skip? Play the... That's her right now. Like she is just stuck on this thought. He lied to me. She's sleeping in his, in our bed. I'm like, bitch, that ain't your bed. That's his bed. Your bed is at your place. His bed is at his place. And second of all, honey, he has said time and time again, you are not together. Whether or not you believe it doesn't make it true. If you choose to be blind to the things that he clearly says, that's on you. But he's never stated that he's in a relationship with you. That's a problem. We've tried to tell you that. You refuse to listen because you're defiant. And being defiant obviously is not a good character trait. But you haven't figured this out yet because some reason it still serves you well, Karen. If I'm being honest, I don't even think you're enjoying getting high anymore. You look straight up miserable when you're high. I don't think they're working like they're supposed to. Are they working like they're supposed to? Or is it taking more to get high? Because that's usually what happens. Remember all that stuff I was saying over the summer? Like it's not gonna be fun anymore. We're basically witnessing it's not fun anymore. It's now a job. It's now a full-time job. And which leads me into my main point of her driving under the influence all the freaking time. Oh my God, I'm so sick of it. I'm really tired of it. Really had enough. Um, I know she'll get caught when who knows? It could be tomorrow. It could be next year. Precious curves. Is she going to hit until someone pulls her over? Wouldn't it be funny though? Seriously. So don't people in drive throughs have like an obligation to call the police if they see someone driving under the influence? I feel like that's a thing. Correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't it be funny? funny if she got popped for a DUI because someone at McDonald's called the cops on her <laughs> oh my god please I'm ready for that episode I mean I feel like I just feel like if you're in working a drive through and you see someone driving on the influence aren't shouldn't you call the police I know you, you, sh you probably don't care but I don't know maybe you'll get lucky and 
or unlucky and someone will actually give a shit and they'll be like, no, she's driving high. I'm not okay with this. I'm calling the cops. That person is a saint. <laughs> God bless that person. But I just think that would just be delightful. Do I think? And I don't think she would actually learn her lesson with the DUI. I think it would just be a new low to learn to adjust to. Like, that's just the thing with addiction. You hit a new low, but you learn to live with it. And then you hit another low. So as you go lower, it's fine. You'll learn to deal with it. You're like, oh, here I am doing the thing I said I would never do. But now that I'm actually doing it, it's not so bad. It's amazing what denial will do to a person. <laughs> it's amazing to watch someone in full-blown denial be like, oh yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is totally okay. Oh yeah, felony DUI. No, I can work with this. It's no big deal. I'll just get a lawyer and fight it. I'm tired of it and I'm ready to see her get some consequences coming her way. I don't think we're gonna see them. Um, I think we're a ways off from that. Uh, but I am sick of it. And I'm sick of seeing her high on live streams. I don't think that's fair to everyone, even her own viewers. Like, I don't think it's fair to her own members that they have to sit there and watch her be high off her ass for hours on end. Like, I don't think that's fair to them. I really don't. And they could say, oh, it's fine. It's fine. She's not high. She's not that high. Like, are you high? Like, do you not see what she's doing? Like, what she's doing is inappropriate. At minimum, it's inappropriate for her to be that high. Like, it's disgusting. It shouldn't be allowed. And and for some people, that could be hard to watch. Like, she has no, she doesn't care about her viewers. Like, they pay her bills like she, and she just could care less like maybe for some people that's hard to watch and that's on them like that's your money and you're choosing to spend your 4.99 on this like why don't you spend your 4.99 on something else but that's you that's your decisions and you make your decisions and you have to live with them so i mean i'm not trying to give them too much slack but I am saying like it's wildly inappropriate regardless for her to be acting this way she's a freaking child and I'm I just don't think it's appropriate or fair to her own viewers and I I mean people will stay for the drama like they will stay and they will join because dude this is some Maury Povich shit this is some jerry springer shit of course people are gonna join again everyone loves a train wreck and she is a train wreck and is she okay with being a train wreck i think she is yeah i think it's her thing i think she's good at it do what you're good at girl you good at being a train wreck mm. good for you i'm sure you have other life skills but yeah no you do that one that one's gonna work out great i mean i guess in the realm of youtube being a train wreck is is perfect but it's not fair to others and youtube shouldn't allow it and i don't think it's fair that just because she gets like she brings in views that they should just let it slide like that's not fair like hold these people accountable but will they no because she brings some money but we can bitch about it <laughs> She sits there and claims she's sober, but we all know she's not. She, from the time she wakes up to the time she passes out, she's on something. She's under the influence of something constantly. And, and when does she find time to sober up enough? She doesn't. She just thinks she is. She's like, and she probably has no concept of time either. It's not like stone, stoners at her level are like smoking weed and timing like oh how long can I how long till I can drive maybe some people do I've never met them but maybe some people do that hats off to you but man she's not one of them okay that's what I'm trying to say I don't see her sitting there with a little timer like she has to ask people to remind her to do stuff like oh remind me to take my clothes out of the dryer do you think she can be bothered to time how long it's been since she last got high. Seriously? No. So, 
Fuck that. <laughs> so, I don't know, but lastly, and the last thing I want to say is I feel bad for my fellow YouTube creators who are who are in recovery because man, she is a great she's a great person to say, "Hey, don't do drugs. Here's why." <laughs> Like, I can watch her and be like, thank God that's not me. And it's been 21 years, but sometimes I watch her and I'm immediately completely taken back like it was yesterday. Like, it feels like it was yesterday. Sometimes when I watch her, it feels fresh. It doesn't make me want to do it, but it's crazy that for someone who claims she doesn't do all the drugs she does, I sure as hell can relate. I call bullshit. You can't bullshit a bullshitter, Chantal. And being sober has made me sharper. All of us in recovery relate to what you're going through. That's not a coincidence. The reason we all relate to it is because that's what it is. It's the simplest explanation. You're high. And sometimes you're too high. And I feel bad for my other fellow creators who are like newer in recovery. And man, being in recovery can be hard sometimes, especially like it could take five, 10, 15 years to get it under control. And even still something can happen that'll throw you off to the point of where you might pick up a drink. Recovery are more hyper aware of these situations and they have to be more careful. And it makes me feel bad that they have to, I don't know. I know it's it's voluntary, but still, like, can I not feel bad for people in recovery? I've been there. Because I just want to say, like, hey, I get it if it's hard. And if you're watching and you're newly sober and it's hard to watch, you don't have to watch. Like, you're really not missing anything. same shit different day you know you can hear all the same stories and honestly I'm gonna tell and leave you guys with this and this may sound mean but it's the truth if she was sharing this shit in a meeting like let's just put her instead of sitting in front of her hug box let's put her in a meeting and she's sharing about Nettle's cheating on her and she's going on this little broken record that she's on about why would he do this? Oh, wet wipes. We'd all be laughing at her. With her. But mostly at her. And I know there'd be that dude sitting there who would lean over and whisper, this is better than TV. And we'd all be like, ha 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 shit's crazy. <laughs> she's crazy and we'd all be sitting there like this is why we don't drink anymore listen to her and she'd be going off on this record and we'd all be laughing and she'd be like oh they love me and we're like no we think you're crazy <laughs> we think you're crazy and then when she's done sharing all my recovery people you're gonna love this we'd all stop and we go thanks for sharing keep coming back keep coming back <laughs> And she'd be like, I don't get it. <laughs> but we do. Yeah, girl, you keep coming back. Mm hmm, honey. Do you need a, you should get a sponsor. <laughs> That's what would happen to her. We'd all laugh at her. Like, is she serious right now? She'd go, kidnap the meeting and talk. And someone would cut her ass off. They'd be like, honey, you need to wrap it up. <laughs> So we only have like, there's a time limit on sharing and meetings and you've talked over five minutes. So we're going to need you to wrap it up. <laughs> and then she'd be like, okay, well, thank you. I guess you don't care about my feelings. And be all, keep coming back, girl. <laughs> Dude, you know, you could picture that in a meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cut her ass off. That's all I'm saying. Cut her ass off. Wait, zip it zip it <laughs> yeah anyways everyone have a good night hope you had a great holiday and i'll see you in the next video which will probably be soon probably tomorrow yeah okay i don't know what that was but yeah <laughs> yeah
Okay. Good night.